we have a nice reunion. Gabriel and Haiyan now joined in one house, and they we used to see them in different windows, and now they're in the same window somewhere <laughs> far from here on the other side of the globe. They physically, physically are in the same room. Yes, they're in Sweden. Sweden. Yes. Yeah, I, think, I don't know. Yes, they're in Sweden. <laughs> and we have uh, Pegasus. Hey, hey, Sab. Hello. Hey, Zina. And hey. Sabrina was here. Yes, Sab, Sabrina. Good and morning. Have, good morning. Uh, good sometimes morning. running badly. Hmm. One blow of the candles, out. I think. Yeah, blow it out. Is it getting too low? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we have Jimmy with us again. Welcome, and Jimmy. Jimmy came back, so welcome, Jimmy, back. And um, it's a wonderful day. It's nice. It's actually a little cool right at the moment here, so the inside temperature is good as well. 73 degrees, I believe, outside. Yes, so uh, in and, here it's about 70. And Jimmy, last time you spoke about things, and after the channeling, we invite you to speak more about things. No. He told me he wasn't prepared to speak oh, today. Oh, was Yeah, I, yes. He told me, I forgot to tell you, he's not prepared oh. to speak about that today. But when All right, then we can say about what we don't speak. Uh, <laughs> that was about design. The human design. Human, human design. design. Yes. A friend, Jody, Jody sent me a link to human design astrology mm -hmm. site where they look at, it's basically, it's a Kabbalah tree of life structure. And somehow by birthday they calculate that structure and give some kind of different astrological reading than usual astrology. Yeah. So I was impressed. Mm -hmm. It's um, um, that's how we are designed. Yeah. We're kind of an artificial. I'd like to have my reading done. A reality where uh, different things are influencing not. What we are, but in which environment we exist. Oh, okay. Like the planets change, and same us, same me, same Jim, same Jimmy, interact in an in a reality where things are just a bit shifted. And that brings me to the topic which is on my mind lately. Yeah. Uh, like music. Did you notice? I was overwhelmed by music last several days. Like last week, the music is everywhere. I come to gym, there is music here. I sing. I go somewhere, I hear music. My kids, uh, one of them just said, stop, don't sing now, don't sing now. And then something changed, and we're all singing. Yeah, so, everybody's so, singing. Yeah, so that, that, I don't know, did you notice that? A lot of music. Or is it only me? No, I've been singing it. I've been singing a lot. Yeah. Hey guys, did, did you? Are you into music last week? Max, um, Jaguar also. Jaguar also knows about human design. Oh, wonderful. Cool. Is it Jaguar there? I didn't see Jaguar there. Is he not? Hey, there? Jaguar. Oh, nice he to see your avatar. <laughs> it's Jaguar. And wh what design is he? What design are you, Jaguar? I am a one fee pure generator with uh, incarnation crossing from the right angle. Okay. Wow. And it, the the generator, you know, being the uh, the uh, workhorse or the uh, the power of this world, uh, mm -hmm. they are the ones uh, that have the they provide the energy for the non-energy types. Oh wow! You, know, you have. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> two types called projectors and reflectors. Those are the non-energy types, and um, the generators. Um, and there's two types of generators. Um, uh, I believe the master, manifester generator, and the, just the generator, and their energy types, as well as the um, projector, reflector, manifester, generator, as well as the manifester. Mm -hmm. And uh, they basically, like I said, are the worker bees of this world. They make up 70% of this world. Wow. And which does all of, you know, I guess our, our work. And 
and as their design, uh, basically as far as generators, is to is to respond to everything, and that's so that's how they go about their life. They respond, and it can it be sounds like me. It can be as little as uh, uh, hearing a sound, uh, hearing a bird sing. You're just responding to it, or or you have a gut feeling is even a response to that, um, and then you just you act from that. Uh, so. Because we live in this world, everything you're going to respond to, so hence the the energy or the power of, of this world. That's why I'm so busy. I respond to everything. I'm like the fire company. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You know, that's part of each of us in some extent. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, the, the difference with uh, different types is you have uh, one type which is... Uh, is a, they initiate things. Other types, uh, they have to be invited. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I and I do apologize because I wish I was ready to uh, say a little more about it. But uh, uh, like I said before, I don't want to say anything that's not true. Uh, so very good. So I would like to find out what I am, but I have a feeling that I'm a worker bee as well. So. <laughs> Yeah, about responding, um, I try to, you know, all, most, most of my day is responding to outside stimuli, and I'm thinking, you know, where am I? Am I only a responder? Do I express myself by responding, or is there something which I want to do creatively, like send an impulse from inside myself without responding to anyone? Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to protect that flame which I have, which, you know, it's so, in, so you know, all day is like, you know, what what's new email has come, and, you know, that email can be answered a week from now. Why would I, you know, be so eager to answer it right now? <clears throat> like, why don't I work on my creative project and block myself from any disturbances from outside? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, are you the same way? Um, is that the way? You, what are you? Well, You're a reflector. I'm a reflector, a, a non-energy type. A non now, a non-energy type would mean that you do something more creative, or well, or, well, um, and the way I have experienced it is that I, I more or less get my energy from <clears throat> oh the workeries, yeah, the, the energy types, yeah, okay, and uh, a reflector, it's they're born without a strategy per se. Other other um, types have a strategy of what they have to do because if they don't do what their strategy says, they're operating in what's called a not self. Okay. And not uh, self. Correct. Right. And <clears throat> so they either going to experience bitterness, frustration, or anger. You know, any number of those things. Outside of comfortable zone. Correct. Oh wow. Their okay. strategy. So, for example, if you have someone that is supposed to um, be invited, so someone gonna say, "Hey, let's go ahead and go to this party." Mm -hmm. um, that say, okay, yeah, I'll go. But if you say, oh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll go to the party, and then maybe it's not as good because you you know you weren't invited. Right. And and that's a basic example, <clears throat> but that's the gist of it. So what type is that? Which needs an invitation? That's a reflector. No, no, not the reflector. Oh. Uh, the reflector. Uh, there's no no uh, strategy per se. Oh, okay. And I say per se because they have to follow the uh, the moon cycle. Okay. Moon cycle. Uh, but uh, the ones that has to be invited, uh, I believe, is let's see. <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> well, we, we have we have people here. Some you know would jump and ask questions. Others would have a question, but they would wait until they invited. And if nobody invites them, they would never ask questions. So Correct. and that brings us to another topic. So you form please your waiting line. Um, for questions in this well, they don't know who's chat there. thing, yeah, when, when it, you know, when, you know, every, if the cur comes, she's great answering questions about colonies, she's authorized, <laughs> she's part of Kirk Fitnier, and she's security clearance, she can decide by herself what she can tell and what she cannot. Mm -hmm. uh, others would have to ask for security clearance for every question you ask, <clears throat> you ask say, like Cash, you know, if you ask him about habitation of the colonies, what he does, he types an email or texts to Tucker, you know, in his mind. But but you know, well, that's what happens. And she would answer him, and he would deliver as a spokesperson the answer to you. So so hybridization, child, hybrid children, 
uh, call any questions, have it been visited the call, blah, blah, blah. That goes to Takur. Uh, Lakesh is great about, he can sense things about your personal spirits and your personal life, about your something spiritual, he can, you know, glimpse mm -hmm. a glimpse of that mm -hmm. by himself. And when we speak to our other people, they also have to go through <laughs> channels to get, get things. Coffee, and, yeah. okay. you know, general policy is that very often they can't answer things about okay. other civilization or race. Right? Right. Right. You got them right. <clears throat> When you chat, there is a microphone in front of you. Okay. There is no way to mute it. So uh, when I speak... Oh, there's no way to mute this. Right. Yeah. We don't have that mute button for my microphone. And, you know, I can turn the camera to myself, but, you know, when you speak it, you know, all the nice chat goes right into the well, broadcast. I just wanted to find out if you needed something to drink. Yes. I don't know how, how it can be done. Okay. Max, may I make a comment? Go ahead, yes. Um, yes, I, I would just ask that um, limit the amount of questions everybody can get a to ask questions, please. Uh, like only two questions per person or something like that? I, I three, you know, it, it's, I know sometimes it, they have to be done in order to understand what is being said to you. Excuse me. Um, but, but, just, just try and keep it brief so everyone can get to ask questions. Um, I don't know. They've been having, you know, three or four people don't get to go. So, so yes. Yeah, so, please, yeah, limit your your questions to the most vital questions. Um, I, maybe two or three questions per person because I know some people were asking four and five and six questions and. I, I would say, yeah. you know, it's not the number of questions; it's changing the topic. Uh, I would say stay on one topic. If you have another topic, wait for another. Because you know, sometimes there are clarifying questions, and sometimes the topic kind of grows. It's up to Takur and Lakesh and others to keep the conversation going. If it is helping others, they would stay on that topic for a long time. Or if it is something important that they have to deliver to you, they would spend the time and expand it. But but if you start a new new topic and just kind of you know jump from one to another, that may be a good time to let others speak before you jump back to it. Okay. Uh, there is also uh, Lani noticed that uh, on a mobile device you don't have the chat, so you don't have a chance to get into the line in that chat. That is like group chat. So then you have just to raise your hand and say, "I I have a question." When especially if it comes as a nice flow, like if it's on the same topic, that would be great. Um, also, there's anything out there that has simple, um, non-personal questions about the topic, right to me on the map. I'm sorry, I cannot hear. There's an echo. Oh, again echo? Yes. Is it on our yes. side or yours? Is your, it on our it's side? Your, your side. Whenever All someone right. says, there's, an there's an echo. I I don't know why it comes later. We tested microphones. Everything works perfectly, and then we got an echo. So I'm switching to a different type of microphones. The sound will not be the same. Just a second. I couldn't get a piece of paper from uh, Something here. weird. All right. I'm going to microphone. See. That's that microphone. We're using one microphone now. That can, can you move it away? This? Yeah. Move it this away? Just completely. Yeah. Is that better? Hello? Yes. Is it better now? Much better? Okay. We won't use this one then. All right. So the... Let me go turn it off. Turn what? Ah, don't worry. Uh, so, yes. Uh, if you're on mobile device, just, just you know, get, get into the conversation. Is that everything we need to discuss before we start? Um, do you have a particular topic for today? Uh, I guess, you know, my favorite topic, which is uh, we will explore every possible way, is hybridization program. It looks like it is important for everyone. It's about hybrid children, about the colonies, 
about hybrid infusions and typically people have questions most suitable for Takur. So I invite Takur first to answer the questions if she's available. If not, you know, Lakesh is great. Like mm -hmm. People love Lakesh. And I, we love Lakesh too. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to that, I would love to speak to hybrids. We invited them for several sessions now, so possibly they have a speaker who is, and initially they weren't ready to answer, and they weren't authorized mm -hmm. to speak. You know, there are secrets that they have which they can't pronounced for many reasons and would love to know the secrets but apparently it has something to do with the first contact and they want they don't want to spill the secrets now it's beneficial for humanity not to know some of that like how that first contact happens one revealing answer from James I think it was or it might be Douglas uh, we asked, you know, what will be the money, monetary system, financial system at the time of, you know, after a certain event? And he said, don't worry, it will be sold for you. That was, you know, that was something. And you see my image is blocked now. Anyway, so we invite hybrids to speak. Uh, but, you know, Takura, I guess, would be the most appropriate. Whatever okay. that was. Does anybody have anything uh, to add before we, uh, Larry, start my meditation? Hello, everybody. There's some new ones coming in. Who is that? Oh, we have um, Sarah. Um, have... Rina. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Jaguar just wrote that maybe if we asked her what her preferred topic for the day would be, could might be. Oh, of course. Nice. Oh, that's a good idea. That's very good. Okay. Questions. I would invite questions from the uh, audience. I see many people here. No more stay. No more stay. No more stay. Are there questions um, for me? Do Gabriel or Hayam have any questions? Okay. If there then, are no. uh, yeah. Zenaida? Oh, okay. 
If there are no questions at this time, I will tell you the update on the colonies. Thank you. That would be great. The colonies are still not up, but will be up soon. They are making sure that things are going to run correctly. There are some humans in the colonies, such as James Douglas Randolph and Percivus, who definitely are helping with the process. However, they have not been taking people in for quite some time now. It's been over 10 days. But this process is important for us to understand what is going on in the human mind while they are being transported and when they are returned. This is something that had been overlooked in some ways because they believe that the return process erases many of the memories from the colony. They are working to correct that situation. But it is not an easy correction because of the way the human mind is so diverse and individual. Do you understand? They must make it so that one center of the brain is activated on return, but yet others' parts of the brain are not deactivated. To do this, there is much technology that needed to be added and it is still not working properly because most of you have different things that you are doing in the colony and so different parts of the brain must be activated properly. If not activated properly, there could be a little damage and we do not want that. We are using a human clone to bring through what we think will be successful unity with the body. Is there any question? Yes, it's um, human clone. Can you explain a little more? What is that? It was taken by permission by one of our workers here. I will not say which one. But he had himself cloned so that his clone could go back and forth from Earth to see if memory was intact or whatever different scenarios appeared from the work that we are doing. Does that make sense? Yes. Is it, uh, I need to clarify, is it adult clone or just copy? It's like a, a replica or is it clone which grows from the very beginning from the embryo? No, it's a replica. So he made the replica. Is it a fully conscious replica? We made it so that it is not conscious of certain things, but it is conscious in the areas that we need to work. Does it have the same soul, so the soul kind of du du is duplicated into two bodies? No, the soul is not duplicated. So it's the, the clone with mind without the soul? Yes. So and then it will be removed, like dis dissolved? It will be taken care of by that person who is the clone of. Uh, what would will be done with it? That is not for me to say, because okay. I am not the person who is cloned. Oh, in general, what is being done with clones? We never discussed clones, and I just wonder about their rights and about death of clones. What happens to them? That will be discussed after first card. Ah, how many clones are now on Earth? Not many. Do you use a lot of clones in Europe? No, we do not. We find cloning to be unsatisfactory in most situations. Yeah, because there are a lot of ethical questions about... There are many ethical questions. This one was a volunteer. It was not... He was not asked to give his DNA for cloning. He volunteered it for the answer to these questions. We considered it for a while and have decided that it perhaps is the only way without hurting anyone that the answer can be precise. 
Yeah, it's similar to our experiments with animals. We have to de design certain treatments for important human diseases, and we use animals. And then we worry about their rights. And here is uh, the rights of clones who are copied, and then after that they have to be dissolved. The way that they are cloned for this purpose, the memory is not intact. Ah. So they're not full beings. They are not full beings. It's a partial clone. And this can be done by manipulating the DNA. Another question, important question. You mentioned that all these memories and things, the problem with keeping the memories, is it, are we talking about physical visits or holographic visits? Both. Ah. So even in physical visits, people physically visit the colonies and come back, they don't remember? Correct. And many of us did come physically there? Not many. Ah. OK. Is there a question out there? I perceive that there is. Sarah? Yes, yes, I'm here. Um, nice to you see you with you again. Yes, I have a question for uh, Noha. Yes. And um, she wanted, she said she would like the name of her hybrid son to be Aditya, A-D-I-T-Y-A. Aditya. Aditya. And the well, daughter. Uh, Aditya. What's that? It could be pronounced Adisha. Adisha? Or Sha. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. We will give the spelling to them. Okay, thank you very much. And she would like the son, I mean the daughter's name to be Aline, A-L-I-N-E. Aline, yes. Yes. And she, said, she wants to know how is she doing in... E1, does she go to E2 and like to, she would like to be more physical? That's what she says. Yes. Is she talking about the colonies? Yes. The colonies are closed at this time, but she is doing well. When they reopen, she will be returning. Okay. And she has. When, excuse me, when she says E1, I believe she talks about. Kenjin's Aaron colony, Shadow colony, ah, E1, E2. They are both closed as well. Ah, okay. Actually, all three are closed at the same time for the same reasonings. We are working together to try to find the answers to these questions. Right. Okay, and she has one more. Yes. She says that, um, do you suggest to increase her Lyran DNA percentage for example, having it equal to Pleiadian and Octurian DNA percentage, increase from 3 to 6 percent. Not at this time. Oh, okay. Yes, she, she, would like, she wouldn't like to be more aggressive, but she would like to be more stronger. That was the That the is full. fine. 3 percent okay. would help with that. But um, have her not to worry, because the they must have everything is simulated properly before more a higher percent is given. Oh, okay. And I have one um, thing for me. Yes. Uh, I would like my um, Yael son. Yes. Uh, to add to his name uh, my last name, Oxidine. O X I D I N E. Yes. I will relay that. Yes. Thank you. Is there a line with questions? Yes, there is. Um, Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel is still on mute. I see only mute and avatar. Hello. Okay. Yes. This is my arm. This is Gabriel. Hey. Hello. We have to get there today. We can clear. 
Yes. Uh, we we met yesterday. Me and Gabriel met yesterday physically. Yes. And we went to my special site and uh, we saw some. Um, we had some sightings of UFOs. Wonderful. They are. Where was the sightings? Um, Over what area? Ah, in Uppsala, in Sweden. It, was it north, south, east, or west? It would probably be south. No, east. It's okay. near the capital. It's near ah. Stockholm. Ah, yes. It's uh, really close to my house. Yes. It was in the east. Which direction was it moving? Was it moving south? Or moving east? Uh, that, that I don't know. It was moving it was like a line from one side to the other side, but it was curving and then it turned, became very bright and then down to not so bright. Very good. It's like it was showing itself to us. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was because of your unity. That was why it is there. Because of what? Your unity as friends. Wow. Oh. Nice. We have walked it down. What did you say? We have a, what civilization was this place cut from? Uh, that I cannot say at this time. Yeah. But my energy is weak today. Um. Okay. Are Are you guys done? Yeah, on this topic. Thank you. Thank you. Just one small thing. Uh, my daughter, my Palladian daughter. Can I also choose a name for her? Yes. Wonderful. I will think about that. Thank you. Namaste. You will use that name forever. Yeah. Okay. Sanida, you're next. Hello, Parker. Much better. Thank you. Hello. I have a question about my hybrid children. Yes. Um, can you give their names and s which species they are? And um, we give them names, but we prefer you give them their names that they will use. That way, you will remember them, and it will bring you closer to them, and they to you. So, if you would care to name them. We usually do not give you their names that were chosen by us. But if you would care to give them names, it will bring you into their lives in a more special way. Can you tell me it's a, oh. <clears throat> it's a son, daughter, which species they are? You have a son and a daughter. They are the son is of Yu Yu hybridization, and the daughter is of Pleiadian hybridization. Uh huh. Uh, how old are you? They are young. One and not even one. One is eight months, and one is. Five months. Oh, beautiful. So can I name it now or next time? If, if you choose to name them now, I will <laughs> transfer that information. Um, okay, the son name is... <sighs> I will come back to you in a few moments after you decide. Oh. Someone else might want to speak while you're thinking. Okay. Thank you. I will be back. 
Yes, thank Who you. Who is next? Nitrous. Hello, it's a car. Hello. Hello. I have one question. Yes. And yes. Uh, after that, I have a surprise for you if you have time after that. Yes. Um, my first question is, um, I'd like to know something about my feline human hybrid children. Um, it's uh, They've been on my mind, and I wanted to ask you if you could tell me um, who they are. Do you know how many there are? Uh, no. Um, I don't know how many. There, I, yours is in the Lyran era, area. You have an actual litter of children as naturally born as all Lyran children. You have three that that is what all I will say there are three two male children and one female there were actually supposed to be more do you want to name uh, them? um I will think about the name yes um, could you Tell me something about their mother. She is pure Lyran. She has no other hybridization within her other than what you gave her. And the male of her species also had to contribute some DNA. However, she is pure Lyran. As far back as we can find. So will they be raised in Liran culture? Yes. Um, Therefore, I'll the say. hybridization was slightly different because it actually resulted in a pure Liran birth cycle. Does that make Thank sense you. to you? Uh, yes, it does make sense. Um, also, um, I really need to get this out. He's been knocking on my door for a while. Um, one moment. Hello there, Tucker. This is Entork. Ah. Uh. I see. Where is Entork from? I Lyran and Lyran ways. Yes. I see. It's a caricature for. Ah, interesting. Please show me that again. Speak your. Speak so that your words can light it up. Ah. <laughs> it is good to Where speak you to you in him? this way. He is channeling this person. Ah. Lovely. It is good to speak to you in this way. The, the conduit and I are very grateful that we met. He is getting better. Yeah. at contacting me. Wonderful. Uh, yes. Many, many contacts are being made now. This is a time of great increase in contact alien ver uh, I do not have alien human contact has been much increased within the last several months. And this is a good thing because you will learn much from these, and they will learn much from you. Ah, what was the name again? Antork. Antork. I will. I will find Antork. 
Thank you. And Torque, can you speak a little bit of Liren right now, if it's convenient? Ooh, that is what the conduit's brain is able to translate. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite Liron uh, Liron I guess food. What's your favorite Liron food? Vegetation is delicious to me. And so Sweet Peter, what's things. yours? We have much the same dietary needs. Vegetation. We moved from being omnivores to more of a vegetable palate many centuries ago. There are still some insects in the dietary needs. What's your favorite Liran art? That of Yakua. What is this? That is the name of the artist, Yakua. Oh, painting artist? He does many different things, three-dimensional works, music. He just is of all different creativities. And yours? Mm. And talk? Bright colors. Ah. Similar to what you call a rainbow. Lovely. Mm. Mm. Much work. interesting. It is difficult to do rainbow work, but it is lovely. Okay, I, I just find it extremely interesting to ask questions to different extraterrestrials why you of the same culture while you're online. How about what is most surprising for you among Earth culture in Earth. What is surprising when you look at humans, Earth humans? Your need for drama. It is so unnecessary and harmful to the system and to the culture. But it seems some of your humans thrive on the energy of negativity, that is most surprising for me. I understand. Uh, and talk, what's yours? What is most surprising for you when you look at humans? The duality. It brings me sadness. I wish to help the population of your planet to come together. Mm. Very powerful. This conduit is feeling. And when you look at our children, what is most promising about human children you find? Most positive. Some quality which we are not aware of or some quality which we should cherish. At this time, your children are picking up the fourth dimensional energy and awakening their minds earlier. This is one of my great thoughts about humankind at this time because they are awakening at earlier ages. However, when they do find that they have awakened into fourth dimensional energy, many times they need to be grounded, but this can happen. Thank you. That's profound. Antok, do I pronounce your name right? Are you Antok? Yes. Antork. Yes. Antork. What's your, what's, uh, can you answer the same question? What is in our children that is most promising that we should cherish? They are higher in energy and the parents of the children should 
listen to them instead of feeling as if they, the parents, know more than the children. May I add to that that yes. they know more, but the children are aware of things that they are not aware of. Just to clarify, they are aware of another existence, another set of peoples, and the parents cannot listen because they have been taught not to. But they need to open their minds. There are many children that know much because their fourth dimensional energy is so aware of things that they need to know. This is what he's trying to say. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. That's very, uh, very profound that you both uh, agree. Um, I invite others to ask questions of general nature to both and talk and occur. Uh, and before that, I would ask another question. In our, so the question is, in our ancient culture, what should we cherish? What should we inherit? What shouldn't we discard from our ancient? What is that that we would recommend that we keep? You should keep your culture past and present and future. Live in the now, but learn from the past. Don't repeat it. And bring your new now into freshness by learning from the past. You shouldn't discard it, but you shouldn't live in it either. Thank you. And talk. And talk. And talk. And talk. You should cherish love, unconditional, universal love. Look to the past for lessons to make sure you do not repeat any mistakes in the future. This is so Your truth is profound. There are lessons to be learned. There are cultures to be sought out because when you find these cultures in the past, you will be meeting them again in the future. So learn about them. They may have changed somewhat, but yet it will give you a basic understanding of why they are the way they are and act the way they do, and speak the way they speak. Do you agree, Antor? I agree. Yes. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? And Jimmy, do you, do you have more questions to both Antor and Takar? Um, I, I do have, have a question that is from Ruth Takar. Um, she wants to know if Arusha the Blue is going to channel through her regularly and what imprinting means. I believe that's something you said to her. Arusha from the third planet of the Blues, the precious world. Arusha will be coming through her again. I am not sure when or how often because I am not to say what the blues decide. You will have to ask the test this question. But I do know that. that. Just a second, there is something wrong with the microphone. The microphone is, it has to be close to you. One, two, three, four, five? Oh. That's it? It's very close. Is there a problem? Should be good now. Did you hear my answer? Hello? Yes. Okay, please start again. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, it will be decided by the blue civilization if she should be permanent with you. But I know that she is permitted to speak through you at this time again for a, 
unlimited period of time, they call it the first level. And imprinting is exactly what it sounds like. It imprints on your either system, mind, or body, whatever it was that they said would be imprinted. Was there a follow-up question? Did that not answer the question? No, that I I think that should do it. Um, she just wasn't sure what you meant about um, you being imprinted in her. So that uh, was when um, when, when I was speaking to her, she she had in, uh, expressed that to me. I see. What that meant was that I can come back to her easily. I know exactly where the imprint of the channel is. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, I also for for I have a question about um, the state of the Earth at the moment in terms of Earth's and weather changes. Yes. Continue. So, uh, could you give us an update on that? There is much seismic activity happening, although it's not being felt as strongly as it could be. But the whole west coast of your United States is very volatile. Also, we have calmed down somewhat Yellowstone National Park and Yosemite areas. They are not as volatile as they once were, but there are still some areas that are still dangerous. Japan and the Pacific Rim, as it is called, is in a very hot state of movement. It will cause volcanoes and earthquakes, but Japan is especially volatile, and this is being worked on by the ships in that area because another sizable earthquake in that area would cause great, great problems universally. The weather is being affected also by this energy that's being released by the Earth, the energy that's being touched by the center of the galaxy and by the movement of the axis, it is difficult at this time to keep the axis from moving any farther because it is in the, the, the state where it should be starting to flip over and which takes three to four days, probably more like four days in this era, since the slowing, things have slowed down in the solar system. But it will not happen. This timeline must continue. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. And, and, and is there wait, wait, anything wait. going on with the sun? All right. There are solar flares, yes, we had one just recently. It affects us as well as you. But um, solar flares are very controllable in some ways. We can deflect some of it, so it does not affect you as prominently as it would have at one time. I just wondered if it's in, in Turk is still there and if in Turk you have anything to add into this question. Yes, Sweden has been very, very sunny for almost a whole week. Very hot. And it's very strange for Sweden. Yes. And also you are at your time with high light. It does not get dark there, does it? No. This is 
unusual for Sweden being so north to have such heat and it is being continued by the fact that there is no darkness or coolness to cool off. So it has been very hot. This will not continue much longer, we are hoping. Those ships in the European and Scandinavian era, area will be trying to affect this. Mm. But would the sun be a little dangerous at this time? Or is it okay to be... There, as, is, as some as danger, there is some danger with the sun being as hot as it is in that region. I cannot explain it to you, but there is some... It does cause the heating of the mantle, which is universal. It does have effects on the entire planet. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. Isn't Torque still there? In Torque, uh, are you still there? Or is Pegasus back? I am still here. Do you have anything to I'm... add? What's your knowledge about our Earth, and uh, can you give us any insights and advice? The Earth is changing greatly, and the energies of light are higher than before. This is a good thing, and it excites me that more and more contact is being made between beings of light and the earth humans. You bring up a very good point. The fact that the humans are progressively ha raising their vibrations does help the earth heal in some ways, which also helps us with control of weather and seismic and volcanic. This you must do to help yourselves as well. But he is correct. It does help with us to know the vibration is coming up so that we can have better control. Yes. Like this conduit, there are many other people receiving telepathic communication from off-worlders, and this too excites me as your people are getting closer to contact yeah. on a massive scale. I apologize that, that they delay the personal questions, but I think it's so exciting to have two leaders answering the same question from different angles. Uh, just developing the same topic, in current culture there are new developments like internet developments, uh, Google Hangouts and things like that. What is from your perspective is most exciting which we should focus and pay attention in new developments in modern human culture? There are okay. some, go ahead. You may go to her. No, you may go first. Focus on uh, spreading yourselves. Have as many people uh, know this information of universal love as many as you are able to hmm. try to well decrease the encounters of negativity you need energy as well my friend but one thing that I see that 
is most beneficial to you that is moving in the earth is that there is a great many more groups of people coming together for the ideas of the world. It was once lost to the world that they should try to help the world. They would talk about it, but no action was being done. But now, with the groups such as yourselves, even speaking of it together, bringing yourselves together to help the world as you want it to rise, is healing the world in a way that you cannot see. This is, to me, a great benefit. And more groups of this nature are coming about. Reiki groups and reconnection groups and metaphysical groups and UFO groups. Groups that you would not have found several years ago in your culture are now coming together and making themselves known and educating the world so that they can become one. Yes. The conduit has experienced something similar to what you say of the different groups coming together and getting bigger and bigger throughout the world. They are now starting to connect not only in the net of light workers, but in actuality. They are meeting together to see if their common thoughts can be useful. Yes. Excuse me, the, some of the things are not getting through. The, I, so forgive I me if there's blockage. any... I understand. I feel the same blockage. There is low points in the atmosphere that are blocking. Uh, yes. Are you both uh, tired or should we continue with questions? I have many more questions. What is uh, best for you and for conduits? The conduit can go for a while. He flows with the river. When he is tired, he will let you know. As for me, I can continue as well. I can continue. Uh, one of the questions is related to health of Earth. Uh, political problems we got, wars and airplane crash and Israel, Palestine, unease and things of that sort. What is happening? Do you have a comment on that? It is... Uh, uh, one moment. I am being advised what to speak. Yes, yes, that's fine. Of course, we understand. There are a great many turmoils on your planet at this time. And it is appropriate that these should happen at this time. As the world is rising in vibration, of course, the opposite will... The, the turmoil will increase as well because it needs balance as the universe is always balanced, so is every planet balanced. There will come a time when peace will be among you for a great deal of time. However, at this time, it is necessary for these different things to happen. I cannot tell you a conclusion. I cannot tell you an outcome. But I can tell you that things are on the path that we always knew that they would go on. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. And Turk, what's your what's your uh, comment on on the politics? As for the politics, your said leaders. While the energies of the planet increase, the people are awakening and 
their power, the politics power is decreasing. Soon your people will not need them anymore. This has been foretold, as we have said, 2027 or thereabouts by L. I'm sorry, we did not hear you. We cannot hear you. Again, problems with Mike? It needs to be turned more to Jim or to Kira. Now should be good. One. Yes. Is it good now? Yes. Yes. Much better. Good. So the question was about L. Yeah, she was. She was talking about L. In 2027, yes. we'll resolve many things in political arenas. Yes, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Mike is here now. Uh, that is my answer. But your political, when the economy collapses, politicians will have a new role to play. It will not be the same. They will try to be the same and not be accepted. So, so uh -huh. Kurt, why, why does, um, and I don't know if you can answer this, but why does it have to be such devastation in order for that to happen? Because your people will not change. It has to change, and they are not willing to do it with peace. They've been offered ways to do it peacefully, but, the, but fear not, the outcome will be much less than we once first thought. But they were offered ways to bring their economy into balance peacefully by helping themselves dismantle it down to a place where it could be rebuilt properly. But they will not do that because it's too much work and they would look like they were working against the people at first. And so they will not do it because of their pride and because of their prosperity from not doing it. Do the, does this make sense to you? Yes, people will lose money yes. and control it but, over the plan, yes. But your politicians do not want to do this. They said, basically, leave it to the next generation. But there is no next generation. It has to happen soon, or else you will just, it will collapse on its own anyway. But if we help with that, or if L helps with that, I should say, and gives us a role, then it will be less devastating than having it just naturally happen on your planet. Because what is happening now is the debt of your planet is out of control. Every country is in debt, almost. There are few that aren't, but they are headed toward it because of how things are. And because of this a huge amount of debt, it cannot sustain itself in a world power. The money will become less and less valuable until it is not worth anything. And that will be the collapse. You said it's L helps with that. Yes. L is, a, L is a community of high dimensional beings that run finances in the galaxy. 
but they also have other roles. But this is their role in your society to help you with your re organization of the planet. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm wondering how can we get more involved down here with the colonies? Mm -hmm. Can we do things mm -hmm. like games together with the colony or anything that could make us more involved? This will happen. I can give you more information on this later. But this will happen as you learn your lessons in the colony, then you'll be able to help the colony from Earth eventually. Does this make sense to you? Yes. But at this time, okay. learn your lessons well as you come to the colony. And then, later you will be able to help. Okay. Yes. Well, I'll you. Okay. Well said. So I thought that uh, by 2027, we would have resolved a lot of conflicts. And that would be the point of um, allowing you to to come and, and allow first contact. Contact, first contact. Before you come. First contact will come before the collapse. I can't hear you. First contact will come before the collapse, because this is the way it was intended. We must help you with getting through it, so we must come before. Hmm. Um, okay. I guess, okay. No, I just I was just going to say that Jaguar, it's next. Oh, Jaguar? Go ahead, yeah. Jaguar, yes? Okay. Yes? Continue. Muha. First, first I would like to ask you if is there any other topic or ideas you would be excited to share at this time or you would prefer to continue with this topic? It is up to you. It, usually what happens is that the highest excitement is that which is being spoken of at the moment because that is the excitement that needs to be moved forward in your thought pattern. Now, Very well. if you change the topic, that will be my new highest excitement. Very well. I would prefer to, for now, stay on this topic and yeah. on this topic to invite you to share some ideas to help us shift from talking about things into actually doing and building new systems so we can replace the existing ones. Yes. Things, first of all, you are in a very ground state, basic state for this kind of action. There are not enough groups that have come together yet to be powerful enough to take action against things that are negative in vibration. There is the thought that when you come together, you discuss these things. It is not yet being discussed enough among your people, but coming together is the first step uniting to think about how to help the world, just as you have asked, is the very first and basic step. And so from there, you will have groups getting larger and information being transferred in greater amounts from alien or from species to humanity, from species to species. This will cause some groups to change. What I mean by that is then instead of being learning groups, they'll be active groups. And they will not keep silent and they will not be 
secrets groups. They will be groups that will be active and they will have a positive message that many will hear and cause them to think and question. Does this make sense to you? Yes, that, very much so. The second part of this action is for much thought in society to be provoked because they will see your actions but it is a different world now. The fourth dimensional energy is being awakened. Children you called crystal and indigo and others are becoming aware of where the earth is in its lifespan, in its growth span. And this will affect because the youth will rise up as well when they hear these messages. The youth are your answers for many of your questions. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. What here? Who wants for sure? What what here? Tio Shuro Tuno Toha Kia Tia. That is exciting. Mm. When the children of the world actually come together at, as their own council, this will be a sign that their activities will be noticed by those of later ages that something needs to be done. When the children are saying something needs to be done and done now and they're saying it in numbers because the, the older population has not ever been challenged. It's always been status quo and they continue to be status quo as they move into their age. But yet they will be awakened by the children and realize that this is a new world because the world of the child will overcome that of the age. Yes, if I understand correctly, one of the key aspects of our role in this life is to build environments for the children to develop at their fullest potential so they can realize their true nature and help shift things. Does that resonate? As they grow now, they see that the earth is growing weak in many ways. It will take several more years for the youth to rise up, by the way, probably 20 or 30. But it, at this time, it will be necessary for them to take action. But the youth of the world are already activated. I will give you that. Many things will come to pass in its own time, and you may not understand the time periods that I speak of, and they may change because of relativities in the, in the earth and in the thought patterns of the youth, but it will come to pass in its rightful time before things will come to dire destruction and we will be helping of course remember that we are also teaching the youth we take them aside and teach them with the parents knowledge in most cases yes thank you for that Tipper. I now choose to pass the mic so to speak to Stephen he's next Thanks, Your questions were pertinent. 
Thank you for the, your answers. They were very eloquent. Tiro, Tushuro, Kaha, I just wonder, isn't Turk still there? And do you have anything to comment here? I am still here. Welcome. There is there is a the energy between me and the conduit is decreasing. I will stay for as long as I can. Do you have any comments on the topic discussed? Not at the moment. There are okay. others who have questions. Yes, Stephen was next, yes. Hello, Dekar and Tort. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you all for your energy, Max, and everybody who is present at this time. Welcome. Uh, I was wondering, do I have any hybrid children? You are Stephen. Yes, yes. There is. They are working with your DNA now. Okay. Thank you, you will have a hybrid child before the end of this year. Sweet. Thank you. Um, have I activated my hybrid DNA yet? of my lineages, and also I have Lyran uh, of my Nubian. I was wondering, could y'all uh, give me any, uh, since I, we have two Lyrans here, I was wondering if uh, y'all had any more information on my lineage, my bloodline of my Lyran, of my Lyran lineage. Yes, we do have information on your Lyran lineage. You have had three lives in the Lyran as a lion beast. In fact, some of your facial traits portray that. You are 7% lion at this time. Wow. Didn't know that. Thank you. Your hybrid child will also be a lion in beer and uh, your child will be have a Lyran mother. A Lyran what? Mother. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, I have a I had a dream not too long ago about a uh, where uh, this uh I was in a grassy field, and uh, this this like black ship comes and hovers over the field and uh, then it like sprays this black foam like material on the grass like a, almost like a little like frog eggs but they're real huge but it's like a foamy like black covering it covers the whole grassy area I was just wondering if uh, you had any information about that dream interesting I know no black foam that would be intentionally put on your planet but if it was a black ship, it could have been reptilian or insectoid, which in some cases, that is how you would find their eggs, is in a black foam, especially reptilian, no, insectoids, I'm sorry, have a black foam that are their children's eggs. Okay. The eggs are within the foam. That's what it looked like. But I do not know whence that dream came, unless they had teleported you somewhere else to show you their planet and then showed you something else. You might have been astral projected to an insectoid planet. Okay. Thank you. The... Uh, the reference to the black foam and the eggs would make sense for insectoid planet. Why they would want to do that, I am not sure. It may have some relevance on your life. 
All right, thank you. That their ship was awesome. It looked like a Batman like ship. Those those yeah. uh yeah, it was awesome. They made their ships in the likeness of some of their gods. Cool, cool. Um, uh, also, uh, uh, about uh, talking about clones and stuff, I was just wondering if you could verify this not a guy named Donald Marshall. Uh, he talks about that. I was just wondering if, you, if, if that information is accurate. Donald Marshall, I would have to check for you. But if it's information about cloning. Yes. It, it talks about the uh, Merc 1, 2, 3, and 4 clones and uh, the arenas where they have uh, uh, where they, uh, clones are fighting amongst each other and doing some, some, some stuff. And there is some truth to that, but there are many variations within that that changes the, the scenario. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. There is some truth to it that they do not fight each other like that. That is not why they were created. Okay. Thank you. Um, also, uh, I was going to ask you uh, uh, the movie, the movies uh, Lucy and uh, like Limitless about the drugs where it can activate uh, more of your consciousness. And everything. I just wonder is that is there really a drug like that that is depicted in the movie Lucy? By awakening to full consciousness and they, that blue pill and the limitless where you can enhance more of your brain's capacity. I just wonder if they had that, that actually had that drug. Yes, they do. Wow, really? There is a drug that has been banned by all governments that had similar effects to this. However, the rap rapid access of the mind causes insanity and therefore it is not truly accessible to a good means. All right, thank you. And, uh, do you have any information about Nasara he, uh, with the financial sector with Neil Keenan of the Dragon Society? I'm pretty sure he's helping with the uh, uh, with a global uh, reset and a jubilee and national economic security and reformation act. Yes, I am, I know who you speak. He has a fragile thought pattern, but he's determined with his actions. But he is not sure he's doing the right thing. But he moves forward anyway. That is all I can say. I get that too from him. Um, uh, also, uh, my cat. I have a cat here that's uh, like gray and white, and uh, he's making like weird meow sounds. He's he's he going to the table, the kitchen table, and looking out the window and meowing at like nothing. At least I can see. And uh, he 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 constantly goes around meowing like weird weird meows and stuff. I don't know if he's like a guardian or something or. Uh, yeah. or you have Lyran protectors, and a cat is very sensitive to the Lyran protectors. Therefore, this kind of activity is not unusual. Did you hear me? When you say protector, do you mean uh, four dimensional or discarnate spirit guide? Basically, more like those that are around to make sure that he maintains a safe environment at this time. Thank you. If I may, the I am starting to disconnect from the conduit. I must go now. It has been a pleasure being here at this time. No stay. Block what's strong. Ah, uh, like. Thank you all for your time. I love you all. Thank you.
We love you in return. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, one more question, then I'm done. I'll pass the mic. It's cool. Um, I just wondered, uh, my 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 sister's kids. I don't know if you speak about them. They seem really intelligent. One's four, named Braden, and number one's eight, named Zach. And they seem like they're really intelligent. One has a feed disease where he can't eat meat, uh, can't eat high protein. I think in a way that was, uh, in my feeling, it was uh, uh, intentional. It's to somewhat. Uh, yes, he's being trained by aliens. He is al already a hybrid of Lyran. Hmm. Sweet. Uh, are you talking about Brayden? The, the yeah. four-year-old? The one that cannot eat meat is already a hybrid. Okay, thank you. Uh, what, you know anything about Zach, the eight-year-old? He has some hybrid in him as well, but not to the point of breed. Okay. Thank you. And how's Shandolf doing? Shandolf does well as Shandolf creates his own reality. All right, thank you, Pastor Mike. Thank you very much for your answers. Thank you, much love. But, yeah. Hello, Tukar. Cook. Yes. This is Cookie. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So I have some questions. Are you really a cookie? <laughs> no. Ah, I see a cookie figure. I was wondering if it was you. There's much we must learn about your society. Well, Continue. I just love. Oh, so I was wondering if I've ever been to the colonies. You will be to the colonies if you were there one time for <coughs> telepathic work. <sighs> I am also okay. connection. Continue. And do I have any alien DNA infusion? One moment, please. There is some Lyran. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. You have some Pleiadian. About 2%. That is good. You walk off. Cooking. Yeah. Yes. There are no questions. Did you hear my answer? Yeah, is it is Pladeon two percent? Yes. It? But you can ask for infusion, they will up that percentage. You can go as far as seven. I, a long time ago, applied for it on the site. That's probably where the 2% came from. But you can have more if you would desire. OK. It is hard for me to determine specifically where it came from because I am losing energy. Okay, we have more questions. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Nice to see, nice to communicate. With you. Welcome. I'm glad you were not. That could be a difficult one. No, a cookie is a symbol of being sweet, but also it had, uh, you know, this this purple spots in a. Uh, under the eyes show some, something else. It's kind of a joke in itself. This picture looks like a species from the Syrian 
area. Ah. Is any, anybody else with the questions? Yes, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Yes, I had a dream that I was turning into Naga, and then the following morning, there were two blue lions waving at me to say hello, that they were next. Two blue what? Lions. Like uh, earth lions. Uh, there is a connection between you, and it is a blue connection from Lakesh's world. Do you know why they were lying? I am... I can only speculate on that. But I do know the, the symbol was from Lakesh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, what does that mean? Do I have any um, uh, any any DNA from Lakesh's society? There is a possibility, but I cannot read DNA right now because energy. I, I understand. Now, what does it mean that I am turning into Naga? You have a connection with her. They, there are some similarities. She is also turning into you as you are turning into her in the sense that there is a Lear nah, blue connection. I'm Lear and not me. A Naga is a cobra, not a Lyran. But there is a connection from blue Lakesh somewhere. Oh. Yes, she is a cobra. But there is a connection between you in the blue realm. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I can't say okay. much more. Is there any more okay. questions? Ja no. Oh. Good. Good. Thank you. Jaguar has uh, a personal question. Yes. Yes. Occur. I'm aware that at the time you're not able to read DNA, so. My question will be less specific. Yes. Uh, are there species wishing to have their DNA infused in my body at this time? Yes. Could you please elaborate on that, if correct? There are reptilians that would love for you to have their DNA. You have other DNA already. And so the only ones that are actually asking are reptilians. But I would advise that you think about that carefully. I would join that advice. Yes, I am aware of your concerns, and I thank you for reminding me of them. I, do, I am not telling you not to do it, because that is not what I am here for. Yes, Did I understand must be totally yours. I just would like you to think about it carefully. It will yes. change you because of the of the way that you are now and you are quite talented and sensitive to many things. This may cause changes. That's all I can tell you. I can tell you that. Yes. Thank you for those remarks. Are there other species DNA that could, let's say, curb or balance out the, let's call them, less desirable aspects of a possible reptilian infusion? The Octorian. A higher percent of Octorian will possibly, but not definitely, help. I must Thank you. Thank you Thank very much sir, for being with us and for so much mm -hmm. help you gave us. No more stay to all of you. I love you much. The planet is no moving forward in a wonderful way. However, we must watch out for the weather and the size of the Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Tucker.
Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jim. Hello, Hello Jim. Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> we spoke here for more than an hour, for sure. For like an hour 20, maybe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, you went for a long time. <laughs> I, I, ooh. Yeah, and it feels like it. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, um, has L come back? Um, I only saw two videos. Are there? I spoke to L recently, and I don't remember anything. And um, let me think. Yes, it was personal, and uh, I don't think there was anything for the public. I just uh, it was personal. Um, but I think the message we get is very consistent that 2027 from from different sources is not going to be not going to, is not projected to be as devastating as it was projected before. They seem to have found uh, new trends and new solutions which will make it more. It still will be a huge change, but uh, not as you know. Initially, it was projected to be 50, 60 percent human casualties, like three, four billion out of seven die. And uh, now they say it would be way less damage. That's what we know. But we still have a long way to go. They're still working on it, and so by by that time, it could be very much less. Or they could also talk our government into changing some things on their own, so hopefully. I yeah, I, I wish I would remember more of meetings, um, since it seems that I'm meeting with them. I, I wish I had a little more. Um, according to what I know about you, Sabrina, is that you have a lot of information that is not in, in your that's in your subconscious, that's not in your conscious at this time, but it will be made aware to you eventually. So. Okay. There is a question of globalization. Mm -hmm. There's so much negative about globalization, like losing local culture, mm -hmm. dominance of Walmart, um, <laughs> dominance of the rise of Walmart, of, you know, <laughs> iPhone. Uh, you have to think that way, not any other way. But uh, apparently, our alien friends say that this is the way to go. So the good part of globalization is unity, global unity, and they say that's you know the only way for us uh, to survive as a civilization. So basically, what I get is we have to keep our history, keep our culture, but unite. Mm -hmm. But Max, um, my question would be, why can't it happen in a way where we're building a parallel, uh, if you will? Uh, different uh, d parallel structure mm -hmm. uh, while the other one is going down so there doesn't have to be um, that well, kind of devastation. That would mean huge financial losses for a lot of people. Uh, losses? What? Because the new structure will, will not be able to gain money until it's operable. So, and people will start to move toward that, but they but uh, they still are used to. They're humans are creatures of habit, and if they're not familiar with what's happening, the chances are if they're not well educated on what's happening, they will not move to another system. This one's always worked for them, especially the older generation. This system has always worked. And they don't see any reason why to move anywhere else. And it's a big fear of the unknown as well. How do you know it's going to work? Um, you can start building a, pure, a parallel system. It's just that uh, it has to be backed by the government, and they just won't do it. I don't know. Jim, you're, you know, when you speak from Jim's physical mind, I hear you, I understand what you're saying, but. Are you interpreting the idea in a way it is? In I don't know. I don't know. We don't really know what is this new structure. Right. We don't know what it is. Right. But but you know you are imagining like. 
I imagine something. Yeah. Imagine something, and then you criticize it from the point. Well, I'm not really criticizing. No. I'm just saying that it's uh, polit politics is politics. Two things you said. Mm -hmm. First is that people, you know, are used to money, and there will be, especially older generation would would be not ready to part with money. Right. And That's second, true. you said that government has to support whatever new comes. Right. I don't really know what is that new. I mean, it's not there yet. Right. They would, okay. Bashar says, you know, Sabrina said, repeated exactly what Bashar says many times. Yeah. When we talk about, you know, what, how do we change finances, he says, you know, build new structures, and when old structure will collapse, the new will be there to replace it. So it will collapse completely. That's you know, exactly what Bashar says. Okay. Many times. Well, maybe but that's what, what they're is it? What is it? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> is it what we have now, a new structure? I don't know. That I don't know. Who is we and what is what? We are you and I. And, and what is the what you were referring to? Yes. And, uh, you know, meetup.com. You know, these meetups when people meet spontaneously without anybody supervising that. Right. Is it the new structure? I guess it didn't crystallize yet. We, we have a little bit of that. Like, now we have meetup for drum drummers. And yeah. Well, what? And lots of other meetups, meetups for coffee, meetups of single moms, meetups of uh, families, you know, people with uh, children with disabilities. Uh, I had an abductee support group for several years. So I guess that is sort of networking, but, you know, how can that network replace the old system? Mm -hmm. We don't really have to bring it to the old system. Replace. How does it replace it? Oh, you know, we don't do any production. We don't, you know, is production going to die or we have to produce things in a new way? Yeah, the, the, the question is, Max, how do we, because we have all these meetups that, that you're speaking of, but if, if there is a collapse, how do you keep the internet functioning in order for all of that structure to remain intact and still go on? I don't, um, we still have a lot of time to think about that. I think there will be a lot more. I, I see miracles happening very frequently. Like miracles, just miracles. You know, we, I'm used to miracles now. Like things go really down and then a miracle happens. Um, Sabrina, I have a thought to your question. I think by the time that the internet uh, will no longer be viable, we will already have developed all of our telepathy at that time. Oh, that's an interesting thought. I would add to that that our technological infrastructure would also have involved, evolved quite a lot in that time frame. And yeah. we would, and we would from a centralized system reliant upon centralized infrastructure into a distributed peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, I, I can. I resonate with that. And yeah. uh, a lot of people will have their iPhones in their eyelids or whatever. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, have and, uh, they will have a subsequent way of powering that other than. Airwaves, they will have something internal. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, the free energy generators would change the yeah. economy radically. Free energy generators, they are already on Earth. People, you know, our secret government has them, and mm -hmm. the question of getting them from secret government to every house. So the whole, so the cars, you know, we don't have to buy gas. The whole economy is built on, on selling gas and medicines, right? And when the, the energy is sort of free, and, it, you know, they say that the contact happens first, and I guess soon after that, these technologies have to surface. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Even yeah. Even uh, all this all the time for several years already. He invites, you know, inventors. Now my clothes associates get 
downloads for free energy generators and for uh, field generators, basically, when you can move things through kind of transdimensional things, transdimensional uh, energies, and that changes the production. On the colonies, they have so-called cones, which is sort of a, a brass cone any size, which you get, it, it's conscious, so it's sentient. You speak to it in your mind, and it produces things. It's like uh, a replicator on, on a Star Trek ship. Uh, so, you know, these technology things might surface, I don't know in, in which extent, but they might surface before the economy collapse, and that might be, you know, the way to replace centralized economy with local produced energy, local produced goods. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that that sounds good. <laughs> um, you know, I it you know what's funny? Um, an entity, I, I believe it was a siren, came through Jaguar, and it told me that I'm a grand diplomat. <laughs> grand diplomat. I know. So, I know that for sure. Yes, they told me that a couple times. <laughs> and and so I I wish to bring it more into the 3D so we can. Implement, start implementing some of it. I tried to join while driving because I'm in the um, in the mountains right now. I uh, just wanted to say something quick on the subject of uh, free energy. As soon as we realize that we have to stop bur burning things, like uh, burning gas in the cars, like uh, um, creating all the smoke with the coals, with the fabrics, with the, with the things that pollute the air, because we are awakening demons when we burn and we create this uh, whole uh, cloud of, um, of polluted air, we create demons, and as soon as we realize that we have to stop doing that, we will start using the free energy, but we have to be conscious about it. Haley, how safe are you driving? I'm really worried that you're driving in the mountains while uh, being struck. No, no. I stopped. I stopped driving. I, I stopped driving. Yes, I, I tried to uh, log in earlier while driving, but it was not possible. It wouldn't let you. Yeah, thank you for your <laughs> message. Yes, Jordan thinks is not appropriate, but you know, on the other hand, chemically, scientifically speaking. All this green vegetation which we get, lot you know, the, the earth is green. Most of this green material came from us burning fuels. Otherwise, this carbon wouldn't get to the CO2, it wouldn't get to to the plant. So it's kind of a strange, uh, a strange, very imbalanced, very strange symbiosis. We burn the fuels and then they became CO2 and it became, becomes plants. But yes, I think we should come back for sure Cut, cut, cut on burning things. There is already a lot of plants there. We, we don't need to disbalance the system even more. Right. Yes. From from my understanding on, on the topic, Max, I agree on the idea that the critical point, if there's one point uh, to which as a society, as an individual, one applies both force for shifting things, it is definitely energy. So when free energy devices become common staples of everyday life, we are already another in another paradigm for sure. That would be the tipping point. Exactly, I agree. So uh, on that topic, uh, we need to create another group and come together discussing free energy and other alien technology, dimensional technology. So let's. Let's come together, create a group, something like technology group or alien technology group, and uh, just get downloads because uh, Zachariah gets a lot of downloads of free energy technology. He's all into that, and we got lots more people who are capable. You know, it, you know, some of these devices are really simple. Bashar refers, refers to them, and even references certain thing uh, videos on YouTube, which. A clues. I have several books on that. It's just you know takes commitment to focus on that and move it forward. Yeah. Uh, uh, one thing about um, burning oils, 
In one of the channelings, they said uh, natural oil with uh, mineral oil. How do you call it? The oil from the ground. Yes. How do you call it? Um, control, uh, natural, oil, natural, and oil. natural oil, natural gas, natural oil. Natural oil. Crude oil. Crude oil was said to be by the aliens in one of the channels. Not what it is stored by scientists. It's not ancient plants decaying into oil, and there is no proof that it is. No fossil. Yeah, right. It's not a fossil fuel. It is a uh, fossil, but oil was said to be a lubricant of living organism of Earth. That's what they said. It's Earth producing it itself to lubricate its Body. geological Body. layers of things moving, Lay layers of rock. Rocks, when the rock moves, they, they need that lubricant, and that's what, what it was said to be. I didn't get any confirmation on that, but it is like, wow, is it really? Really, yeah. Come yeah. on, Earth. Yeah, second hour, the lubricant, and that's why we get earthquakes. Oh. Wow, that's an interesting thought. Wow. Uh, uh, and here is uh, the, you know, our usual. Jim needs um, your support. Uh, how how available you for channels? Are you are you is your schedule I open? Yeah, I only have a few channeling scheduled. Things sort sort of dropped off in the last couple of weeks, but. I'm sure they'll pick back up, so I'm not worried about it. We well, thank you for your support and uh, you. contact Jim. There is a page Jim on 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 the website humancolony.org and schedule a uh, channeling. I have a lot of availability right now, so that's good. You had recently requests from Australia. That was I amazing. had yes, two uh, sessions from Australia, which is a new place heard from. Um, so I haven't done them yet, but I have them scheduled. Okay. They're 14 hours different, so I will talk to them at night, and they will be hearing me in the in the next day. All right. So it's 14 hours ahead. They're 14 hours ahead of us. So it's pretty neat, but pretty interesting. Hard to schedule sometimes because uh, we're 14 hours apart. So I have to go at night, and they'll be there in the morning. So. Yeah. That's real globalization, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> globalization for sure. What did you want to say? Uh, a nice th uh, another nice thing is uh, uh, Jim Hello. and people. Hi. Hey. Who's that? Gabriel. Hey. It's, it's nice to have these kind of meetups. Yes. 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 We should have a meetup for Europe. We can all meet up and. American meetup at one location, and then we can have video chat together. Oh, you mean physical, physical in yes. the same room? Yes. Yes. And also, and also, we should have uh, a channeling for from somewhere from someone from the European European uh, ships. Yeah. To come down oh. and stay because they they know a lot more about Europe. Oh yes. Um, I'll ask to her about that. We ask him now. So we invite uh, channelers from the ships. Yeah, we have a, a lot of users from ships in the European region. Yes. Nice. We have user from Europe and America seems to be strong. So now the Chinese people have been coming, and yeah. one person from India, one person from Australia. That's what I... Very good. Another topic relevant. Oh, Max, have you? Um, I'm thinking that we should cut down our personal questions. I yes, there are two different tendencies. One is, you know, it's so important that we get hybrid children, we learn about them, we communicate with them. So we would love to have personal questions, but there are also very important general questions which are, you know. As important, yeah. so we probably want to build a little wall and say, "Here is a place for social oh. questions, and here is a place place for general questions." Yeah, because it's more exciting to hear uh, very detailed question asked, like, "What percent of uh, alien DNA do I have?" is not as interesting to other people watching, but may but yeah. story what's happening and stuff may be more exciting. 
Yeah, but, but Gabriel, you know, it is important to that person. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it's important. Yeah, but, but I mean, to to you know, to expand, we have like the same amount of um, subscribers, and if we, I don't say we should stop. I just saying that we could cut down and focus more on the on the general stuff. So the the video, the two hour video of this channeling, would be very more very much attractive to a lot more people. Because this, after we're done here, we don't watch this again, because there's a lot of personal stuff. Oh, that's true. I, I agree. Thank you for your uh, promotion of general questions. I, I, I also am, am in favor of general questions, especially when there are multiple aliens answering them. Uh, I follow the, the lead of Bashar. Bashar allows personal questions. Uh, he, he does it for 27 years, and for 27 years people come with questions about their hybrids, and he doesn't repress that. But he, yes, uh, he guides it in a way that it becomes goes from personal question to the question, what's your highest excitement, right? Yeah. That's what Bashar does. Yeah. Uh, another thing is that these conversations about hybrid children and percent of alien DNA are very nice, a very nice illustration for the main problem or the main topic of hybridization program, the main future of Earth as, and the past of humans as hybrids. I mean, when humans ask for, for the hybridization, especially ask for reptilian hybridization, it is so much healing for everybody. It's not only a personal question. It is an illustration where we are going. So. So I think yeah. that that is also a very positive thing. So that's why I, I, I like. It. So I, I, I feel I, about a mixture between personal question and uh, general information. I I think I think um, a good there might be a way to do that if we <clears throat> predetermine a topic and perhaps ask them to inform us about that. Let's say to her that she was talking today about the Earth. Um, and then just talk about that at the beginning and have a set time of discussion for that and then move on to personal questions. Yeah, that yeah. might be a way to handle it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think there's there's a need for more effective communication and editing, if you would like to see it that way, before publishing videos. And I think um, setting times or each kind of question, or even experimenting with different kinds of uh, webinars, so a more personal focused uh, channeling, That's and maybe a more general focus, so specializing, so to speak, uh, webinars are more general, or well, more even you know top. I think that's what uh, the idea behind the paid webinar was, is to answer all your personal questions for a lower price. Um, Yes. And and then um, the these kind of webinars were more for general information, spiritual learning, things of that nature. So if we would have a paid webinar for like five bucks or whatever, you could get all your questions answered and and you have a paid session. So you're getting answers and it's reciprocal. Yeah, that's that's something was experimented with uh, if, with Nick, if I recall correctly. I don't know if it was repeated, so maybe there's an idea there that is worthwhile uh, re re replicating. Repeat that. I I like the idea of a separate webinar for personal questions. But if if you have have a paid one, then you can actually take one of the time you have or available for have a session. Yeah, exactly. You have a group one. And that can be fixed, so you yeah. can just join in. You don't have to do so much things. Your others can help you with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that. And also, I invite others to start their own webinars and programs. We have more. We have now 16 viewers, so these viewers potentially could be participating in another webinar. So, you know, it's uh, it's nice we have that leading webinar, which is has specific time and repeats every week. And we do it for free because there is a lot of people who can't afford even small small amounts. So 
So you want to bring them and expose them to, to that thing and give them a chance to participate. But right. I would suggest and that... And I would agree with that, yes, Max. There are some people that can't afford uh, yes, that's anything true. at this time. Yeah, but I would uh, encourage everybody to join and have uh, another regular webinar on a specific time. And if you cannot do it every week yourself, maybe you can take turns. But the, Kind of make make it a pattern which would sustain itself, and and it will diverge. One webinar will be on more on that topic, another more on another. Topic. And uh, also, and yeah, also, and um, that was exactly what, what I was going to say. That um, uh, my first time talking to Lakesh and feeling the energy of that presence and talking to him directly. For free, I think I don't think I would do it if it costs if it uh, costed some money. Right. So that was really important for me that it was for free, and I went there and I was like, oh, this is for real. This is the real deal. Yeah. I yes. Guess. And that first time I talked with Lakesh, this couple of months have. Uh, my acceleration has been amazing since since that time. So I think yes. it's all uh, important to keep the free free personal things for everyone. All right. Well, we'll discuss it. I I just well, want to do it for the colony. Make it make it yeah. uh, viable for everybody. So that would be good. Uh, another thing, uh, Jim. I set up Jim's computer to record the, the private sessions, but it just takes more of his attention and he is not there. So either you record it yourself, there is a program called Pamela. It's uh, free for the first month, and then uh, after that you have to pay once a fee, like $25. But then you can record any Skype conversations. Or uh, ask Jim and finally maybe he will get into his mind. It's easy, but it takes, you know, Doing I, things, press the button here, and then yeah. share it. So he set up to sh to record and share the recordings, but it's it's, it's yeah. Um, I have done it a couple times, it, and it worked. Um, but sometimes it doesn't prompt me to turn it on, so I try and I have to go find it. So that's my hardest part. All right. So. Uh, next thing. Uh, I would like to upgrade Jim's uh, webcam to get better sound and better video. So if you donate $40, uh, we'll do that. Uh, so very good webcam, used one, but very good. It was the Thank same you. one we use now, uh, same quality. Next thing, um, we, I want to try to speed up our website. There is a, a $25 a month, $25 a month fee for upgrade to the higher speed. So uh, if you donate $40, it will, it will be enough for two months. And then after that, we either continue that or we, you know, I think in September, we'll have time to move to another provider, which would be faster. Right now, the, if you want to donate specifically for um, speed upgrade, that would be great. Because on weekend, the site is really, really slow. And now we should do some sort of Meditation exit, yeah. right? Yes. Anything else before we? Oh, we have new face. Who is that? Thank you for showing the face. Uh, I place my mouse. You know, the mouse can tell me. Hold on. Just a second. Somebody's face. Yes. Oh. Steven. No. I don't know how that face got on there. Uh, <laughs> I know. I didn't put that on there. <laughs> I mean, I didn't put that on my uh, my uh, avatar. I don't know. I, I was like uh, going to see my regular face, and I don't know. I, mean, I guess it's must share. On your Google Plus profile, I believe. Google yes. Plus. I do have one uh, announcement to make. Okay. Nobody knows this but me right now, and one other person. But I will now be hosting a radio show. Show. <laughs> <laughs> I love Doc Ears, Enlightenment Evolution Network. I talked to him at 11 o'clock last night, and um, he asked me to be a host. So. Yay, that's wonderful. Exciting, Jim. Wonderful. So there's lots of things I have to do. 
quickly. I have to find a name for the program. I have to uh, find some guests for the program, give him the uh, name of uh, what the subjects are and what day and time I would like and things of that nature. So I have a lot of things to think about. But it would be once a week, and we don't know what day it's going to be yet or anything like that. But um, I thought I would surprise Max as well. <laughs> ah, kyukuha, <laughs> I wish I knew what you said. <laughs> I was too busy laughing. But anyway, uh, nice, 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 very nice. We also thank, thank, you. thank you. Congrats, everybody. congrats, congrats. Yeah, there was someone who introduced us. Remember who was that? Curly or um, Sarah? Borps? I. Hmm? It was that? Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina. Oh, it was me. Oh, yeah. thank you, Sabrina, for introducing us to Rob. Yes, and now see where it's led. <laughs> you're you're in mean, trouble now. <laughs> no, these introductions make huge difference in our network, not just with other networks. Because speaking there, it will bring our audience to them and their audience to us. And from what I understand from Rob, a lot of the people in his uh, group are now starting to come to Yukolo and Human Colony. Yeah. And yeah. also I have a, uh, I'm going to be on Karen Newman's show. She's in Denmark. Within the same network. Yeah, within the same network. And he told me that Janice, someone, wants me to be on their show as well. So yes. we'll... I, uh, yeah, pardon? I just thought that your energy and his match very well. That was... You know, so I, I just thought that it it was it was yeah. a good match. We really do think of much alike in many ways. So it's really cool. Thanks everybody who did amazing our webinar. We did a demo webinar last Tuesday for Rob and it was ex our best ever webinar. We did so many miracles at once. We showed them a play in Arcturian. You showed, I wasn't uh -huh. I was only asking for it. I invited. Yes. So it was, you know, as a result, it worked well. And uh, they watched the video and were very excited about many things in it. So they came to the website and checked us out. So, and we now are interviewed by two different groups, which is amazing. Thank you for introductions. Oh yeah, we're getting interviews too. Yes, and these interviews again expand the network, and they ask. You know, it's it's nice to tell things when you think you're com oh, that's the word compelled compelled to tell things. But when somebody asks a great question, that's so much easier. The energy is matching it, so we deliver it. You know, we heard we learned so much from the aliens, and now we can explain it to the interested. Are you coming to my house next Friday? Yes, next Friday we do what? An but interview yeah, with watch uh, it. We, it's only for the interviewers to be invited, so we will not have the crowd participating, but you can watch, and uh, that's fun. Next Friday, we'll broadcast the live interview with live people physically. Jamie. Her name is Jamie. Jamie physically will be here, will do the interview. And the questions, they already sent us the questions. The questions are great. Also, object reporters interviewing. Yes. Us, me, mostly me, and mostly him about uh, and hybridization. hybridization yeah. So thank you for introduction. There was several more introductions. Like one is still waiting. I need to figure out. As usual, I'm so involved in what we do, so I don't know these people yet. So I need to learn, and then we have to hang around with them. So uh, the procedure here would be: if you want to introduce us to someone. Um, you know, the celebrity, a channeler, a person who has their own community. Uh, we invite them to our Saturday webinar as a guest, and we'll mostly focus on their on communication with them. So we have that time reserved. If they need to move the time a little bit, we can shift up and down. But Saturday is already something where we committed, so it's easy to invite guests for that. Yes. So if you want to invite some guests, we'll welcome them and we'll uh, have fun with them. Okay. And finally, we need some uh, sort of exit. Oh, exit blessing. Okay. Any, any volunteers? I can do it in Arcturian. Very good. Yes. 
Love it. きゅとのこはしゃやとことこそかたななかすかとこほしゆことのなほさかなかたとわたきてゆことのなこしゆこだきゆことのなこせゆとのなわたたやたなとこてやてゆこそことは so you wata kiata, toskatata nanaka, so wata ha yuku, hoskoto no no wa, ti yuto no no siki, ti asa katana, tu wa ha saka, tanaka ka, tu wa ti yuto no no kutu, tu wa na, ti yukutu, hosa, hananaka, tu si, ti yukoto no no ku, haskata, Hawanana, hasu, tu wahanana, sakata, hawu, hasku, tunuhu. The intention is to the blessing of all of you, the enlightenment of your heart and minds and souls and spirits. The spirit's face shares your faces, and the spirit's heart shares your heart so that when you look all of your faces are spirit and all of your hearts are heart you must realize that the spirit is among you and camouflages himself within you and then brings himself out as a personality among you love is spirit spirit is love except Acceptance is spirit, and spirit is acceptance. And goodness and kindness and all these words that you might speak to each other, these are all of spirit. Don't darken him out. Keep your face shining. Keep your heart shining. Move him out and around you. Help him to share himself. In the name of all that is just in the right world. Come. Mm, that was nice. Thank you. Amazing. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. Love you Thank all. you, Jim. Thank you, Max. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Have fun, you guys. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye, Stephen. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Free. Bye. 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 Bye, Ellie. Bye, Sabrina. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jim. Bye, Pegasus. Oh, thank you, Pegasus. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Zena. <laughs> Night, John boy. <laughs> Good night.